If you're building a solar system, it's important to know you have options. I'm gonna be discussing 12 microinverter companies that you may not have heard of. North America accounts for about 70% of the global microinverter market. Enphase is the leading company in all microinverters. They literally dominate the market. Enphase was my personal choice when I designed my systems, but perhaps if I had known about these other microinverter companies, maybe I'd be rocking a totally different setup. So let's explore why microinverter companies are available to you in 2023. These are 12 companies you may want to consider if you're thinking about going solar, and I'm going to cover these in no particular order. I'll start with Enphase since they dominate the market and this was the manufacturer I chose to build my system. I'm familiar with their product, I know how to install them, and I also want to point out that their customer service and their tech support was absolutely phenomenal. So I'll give them an A plus in that category. The negative thing about Enphase microverters, in my opinion, are that they are not keeping up with the ability to convert all the power being produced from the new high powered PV modules. And there are other companies out there that are bringing some compelling products to the market that are gonna be challenging Enphase. Be sure to stick around for the entire video because there is one manufacturer in here that could pair with large PV modules that actually surprised me and I never heard of the company before. There's also a couple companies in here, I'm just gonna kinda of point out, but they're a little sketchy to me, but I wanna bring them to your attention just in case you're interested. And maybe you've heard of all these companies or you haven't heard of any of them. Leave me a comment below, let me know how many you knew about before you watch this video. AP Systems claim to have the most powerful dual microinverter in the world. I think this claim is for the DS3 model. The recommended PV module power STC range starts at 300 watts and goes all the way up to 660 watts. Max output of 880 watts per microinverter. That certainly makes this microinverter very intriguing. And Hoy Miles might be challenging that claim for the most powerful microinverter in the world with this quad microinverter, the HMS 2000, that can handle up to four solar panels at one time and connect up to 670 watts per panel. With continuous output power of 1,918 watts and a peak power output of 2,000 watts, that's one microinverter that can handle up to four modules, and that's impressive because now we are seeing innovation to where these microinverters can keep up with those large high output solar panels. Northern Electric Power, founded in 2010, offers a dual module microinverter with a max output of 1200 watts and peak power of 768 watts. And it's good to see companies like NEP, Hoya Miles, AP Systems going out and challenging Enphase by bringing us microinverters that can be paired with solar panels up to over 600 watts per panel. And let's keep this moving, because next on my list is one that's gonna surprise you. Benny Electric. They have microinverters that come in three different sizes, the 550, the 700, and a 2800 watt microinverter. Yes, I said 2800 watts. And the first two of those can be connected to a single solar panel. 550 watt solar panel and a 700 watt solar panel. And the last one of those, the 2800, that can be connected to four 700 watt solar panels. And the model number for those three microinverters is BYM550, BYM700, and BYM2800. And next on my list is VVAR. The biggest and baddest microinverter that I could find from them was a 1200 watt quad microinverter, meaning you can hook up to four 300 watt solar panels to one microinverter. Now, something I found interesting about this microinverter is it was rated at 1200 watts and it's saying its max output is 1200 watts. So I don't think that there is a 100% efficiency with this microinverter. So that's just something you might wanna look into. And there's not a lot to be found on Solar Bridge. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not even really sure if this should be on my list. I did find a couple microinverters that they had produced, uh, I guess a long time ago, but in 2014, they were acquired by SunPower. And then if my research is correct, guess who acquired SunPower's microinverter division? If you know who that company is, leave me a comment in the description below and let me know. And while we're on the topic of acquisitions, let's jump right to the next one on the list. 
And in July 2021, Generac acquired Chilicon Power, a Los Angeles microinverter company that was founded back in 2010. But it's very hard to find any information on Generac's PWR microinverters. And for you guys that don't know of Generac, Generac offers a battery backup solution for your solar system with the PWR cell system. This is one we should all have on our radar. This one seems a little sketchy, but I'm adding it to my list. They have a quad panel model Q2000 that can connect up to four 550 watt panels with a peak output of 2000 watts. I wish I could get behind this company, but their website just turns me off. It's just not a good representation of professionalism. I mean no disrespect, but to gain the trust of consumers, they need to get that updated ASAP. This one may need a little bit more research. I'm not sure if they even have offices or offer support in the United States, but they might in different areas of the world. Hell, they might have offices in the United States, but it's unclear by looking at their website. Now, with that said, they do have a microinverter that can handle up to four 600 watt panels with a max output of 2000 watts. So for me, because this company has such limited information, I'll put this on the back burner and add it to my watch list. From a consumer's perspective, now we're getting into something that looks very sketchy. Anytime I go to a website that doesn't implement SSL, I can't pour my trust into that company. Even though they have microinverters that appear to be capable of building a decent system, I'm passing simply because I don't trust insecure websites. If they get that fixed, I'll revisit their offerings. And the final company on my list is Mars Rock. This is a company where you buy their microinverters off of Alibaba. I've never bought anything off Alibaba. I know a lot of people that have and got killer deals on it, but I'm not comfortable with buying this type of product to generate power for my house with reliability that could come down to problems off of Alibaba and I have any support. So I wanna bring it to your attention, but I'm not comfortable with this pick. And the number one reason I chose Enphase is because I knew they would be there when I needed help. And I can attest from my experiences now, after building my system, there was times I needed to contact customer service and tech support, and they provided some of the best support that I have received in several years. However, if you're looking for alternatives to Enphase, it was my job in this video to help you with that. So I would recommend researching Hoy Miles, NEP, AP Systems, and Generac. Look for warranty information, installer training classes, and whether they offer all the different materials that go along with making your install go smoothly such as trunk cables, accessories, communication devices, combiner boxes, and other items you're gonna to need to complete your install. And do they offer a homeowner app and an installer app to aid with system monitoring? There's a lot to consider and only you can decide what's important to you. Although Enphase might not have a microinverter that can produce 550 watts continuously, they offer a complete package for what I was looking for in a company. If you know of a microinverter company that I left out of this video, be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know so I can research it and bring it to you in my next one. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me to the end of the video. I do have other videos on solar. I'll post those right up here somewhere so you can check those out. And if you're interested in my new merch that I have out, be sure to check out this shirt below in my shop. I hope to catch you in my next project.